So, first man onto the field is this fella here, Shaq Mitchell. And there is coach there, JD. He's actually the first one out. And a wave there from Shaq. He's having a drink. Who else is coming out here? Campbell Graham, stretchy. Followed by Terrell Kahlo Kahlo. Couple of trainers there. There's Big Sean Kepi again. He was out early last week and there he is again, Keen. He's got the He's got the singlet on. VSP. Security company. And the boys are just getting some fluids. There's Joe O'Callaghan he's putting on the sunscreen there, very sun-wise. Benny Hornby there, coach as well, assistant coach now. He's been promoted to that. Here comes Ty Ty Munro out onto the field. A few new staff members here. There's, there's Tyrone. Straight out there. Who's out there? I'm not sure, am I? So there's a few new faces. There's a couple of boys here from the, the Townsville Blackhawks. And yeah, so we're going to feature him here on Money's TV. sunscreen on. It's good to see Cam. We didn't see Stretch last week, so it's good to see him out there. He's having a word to the media manager there, Jeremy Monaghan, with a backpack on. Jez is a good man. He looks after Bunnies TV. He allows us to do this filming, so thank you to Jez and the Rabbitohs. And there's Jacob Gagai coming out. Featured in last week as well. Phil Met. Dallas Duncan. So I'll just have a look up. Tell us. Had a big year in 2023, made his debut. And he's part of the 17 now. Tell. Shout out to the family. I wrote an article about him on bunnies tv.au. There's Hosty, I don't think we saw him last week either. Take him host. And Jack Whiten's out there. So we missed him walking onto the field last week. There's Jack Avast. There's Jack getting some sunscreen on. He's got one of those vests on that they wear. Um, some sort of compression thing or something. I don't, I'm not really sure what that's for, but it's, uh, he's back out there. New recruit. Jack Whiten, look fit too. He's a bit of sun out there. There'll be sunrise out there today. Standing behind him there is Footy, Dean Alpins. Richie Kenner's come out. So, yeah, there's the boys. Pre season training here. Getting amongst it. And just staying back from them for the pre season. We're not going to engage with any of the boys. We're just going to stay up here. Film a bit of them before the Christmas break. This cookie, Daniel Cook. I seen them doing a road run a few days ago, so they're mixing it up a bit. Pete Mamazellis, looking fit too. Sun's out, guns out, Pete. He is a fit young fella. He's young Peter Mamazellis. So, here they are, the boys are out here now. We'll film for another 10 minutes or so, I, I assume, before they tell me to turn everything off, let the boys do their stuff. So, yeah. This towel, Duncan, doing his bit of sunscreen stuff there, getting a, getting a drink. Stretchy, Campbell Graham. 
bit of fair skin there, so he's making sure he's got the plenty of sunscreen on. There's, the sun's breaking through the clouds here, and this Monday morning in Sydney, it's uh, a bit overcast, but the sun just burst through for the start of the session. Monday the 27th of November, here at Redfern Oval, and there's Davy Mawali. Baby Davy, we call him. The Davy train. I always like to shout out to Mum Jackie, Dad Davy Senior, all the siblings. Big family, the Mawalis, and he's looking well too, looking fit. He's a regular in the 17 now. I think JD gave him a few games off last year, but I think he's too good to leave out these days. Big Davy, what he brings to the team, he's a great runner of the football, he's got the skills, you just saw him do a flick pass there, and a real solid defender, Kuji Wombats Jr, and a great young fella, it's a bit, Davy Mawale, who else has come out here, let's have a look, a few others, oh there's Lever Havili, Lever Havili. Saliva. Don't think he was here the other day. Or if he was, I missed him. So as I missed a few. I'm going to try and focus on a few boys that weren't here or I missed out on last Monday. Thank you to everyone who watched the footage last week on Bunnies TV and all the little bits that I clipped up for the different socials, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Plenty of content during the week all from this one video, and there's Lachlan Elias, who's just <laughs> blowing his nose. Thank <laughs> <I'm cute. laughs> Sorry about that, Lucky. Just clear out the airways before you run, have a run, have a... Anyway. <laughs> so, there he is. Rabbo's number seven. And we'll go across the field and have a look at a few of the boys. There's, there's Iotas. So we didn't really talk about him much last week either, so there he is. Starting centre. Interesting to see how they use him this year now that Jack Whiten's an extra back that we've got who plays centre. And yeah, will he go to the wing? I'm not sure. It remains to be seen, so there he goes. Lever running out there. He's just finished his rep duty, so maybe he had a few weeks off for that. But he's back, and he's a bit of a pocket rocket. He's uh, Lever. He's he's not the biggest bloke, but he's fit and he's full of energy, and he never stops. Out there, and there's Johnny Sutton, club legend. Grand final captain in 2014, held that trophy up. Never forget that photo. Sut, you are a champion. And he's been promoted to an assistant coach now. So I think he'll still be doing the blue shirt. I'm not exactly sure, but there he's, uh, he's, over, he's out there. Now let's have a look over here. I haven't seen a few of these boys. There's Isaac Tupo Thompson. He's another bloke who'll be in contention to start in the 17 in the first grade. He played good in the New South Wales Cup. He's an explosive runner of the football. And yeah, we've got him, Tyrone Munro, Alex Johnson. So there'll be a competition for those wing spots. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, but he's right in the mix. The big fella. He's Kepi with the strapping on the right knee. But he's moving quite freely. We featured him last week. Big fella, Manly Seagull recruit. Their loss is our gain. He's a big man. Front rower, play in the middle. Valuable, big body. Hopefully we can get some good value out of him. I think he's played 72 NRL games from memory, so anyone who's bagging him, have a look at his resume. Anyone who'll be happy to play one NRL game, and this fella has played over 70 in first grade. So blokes like that don't come around too often. And when they do, 
you snap them up for your team. Okay, I just we saw Shaq before. We've seen Trell. He's got the singlet on today. Big man. He's yeah, having a chat to his good mate Jack. Two boys there. So uh, they are the Kangaroos World Cup winning centre combination. And they're both fair players. That is Jack Whiten and Latrell Mitchell. And I think Latrell was one of the reasons we got Jack, because they are good mates. So thank you for that, Latrell, and Shaq as well. But, uh, yeah, so, geez, wouldn't you like to see Jack burst through and see Trell looming up? He puts him through to score, so fireworks to come from these two star players. Coming up in 2024, big bounce back season from Latrell. We missed him in the last game against the Roosters, as you know. The Evil Empire ended our season, but anyway, that was last season, or this season, just gone. Let's turn to next season. There's a bloke walking behind me chatting on the phone. This is uh, Jai Gray, We're talking about pocket rockets. He's another one. We just put up <clears throat> a video that my young mate Oscar Zechner has been editing for me. He's been doing some edits and he edited a Jai Gray try at Mascot Oval. And he's scored a few this year. He's, he's a good ball runner, but he is also a good defender and he's got great hands. He's a, he's a good 5'8". He's a classy 5'8", he's young Jai Gray, so look for him to have a big year as well. I think he's top 30 development, so look out for young Jai. All right, so who else haven't we had a look at yet? They'll probably be telling me to turn it off soon. Jez is coming up now. Probably have a word. So... And we'll stick with it for a little while longer until we get the we get the chop. So anyone who knows any of these players that I don't know on screen, please let me know. He's a big lad, that one. Apologies, mate. I don't know your name. I'm going to have to do some homework. And there's the whistle. So the boys are going to start doing some drills now. We'll see if we can capture some of that. There's uh, Hayes and Mellors down there. Young star winger, big boy. Play basketball. Dad Vince played NRL for the Warriors. Mum played basketball for, I think it was the Kiwis in the Olympics. So he's got sporting pedigree, this young fella, and he can play. He's had a few injury worries. But Look for him to get on the field and get some footy under his belt and have a big year next year. Injury free, hopefully. He's been doing some rehab out there at the Heffron Centre, which is a fantastic facility for all the rehab for these boys. A little bit surprised they're doing their pre-season here at Redfern, who's considering that they've got that new centre there with pools and all the facilities they've got there, but anyway. It's uh, probably good that they are here, having a go. Back to where it all began. So the local fans can come and have a look. There's not many in here. <laughs> There's only a few in the stands, a couple of workmen. But uh, yeah, so no, it's not too bad. Well, it, from my point of view for Bunnies TV, this is a better position to film than at the Heffron Centre. Because this is an elevated, <coughs> excuse me, let's have a sip of coffee. This is an elevated position, uh, obviously, <coughs> so it's perfect for filming here. But at the Rabbitoh Centre, it's a, you're on the ground level. But a lot of you would have saw my stuff from there, and we still get plenty of footage. Richie Kenner there talking to Isaiah Tass. And is that Neon Deontay up there? Yes, it is. 
New South Wales Cup star, Dion Tiapo. He's been at the club for a long time. He's come right through all the pathways, and he's a real success story at this club, Dion Tiapo. A great young kid, and he can play, and he won a New South Wales Cup title and also a state championship when they defeated the the Queensland team there on grand final day. They, they put them away quite easy in the end. They, and yeah, Dion was one of those stars, 5'8", and he played in the Charity Shield last year and went really well. So, you know, high opinion of him here at the club. Good player. There's Leon Tahu, another kid that's been in the system a few years and he's just had some injury troubles. He can't seem to stay on the field, but if he does, he's an explosive fullback, winger, outside back. It's Alice Duncan. Yeah, he's one of the favourites here on Bunnies TV. We love his work. We loved his first try in first grade. What about that against the Bulldogs? We didn't win the game, but he burst through. He gave the ball to Pete Mamazelis, which is, there he is there. And Pete gave him the ball back. And Tal showed great speed to sprint away and score the try for the Rabbits. Late try there against the Doggies. And that was one of the greatest first tries you will ever see in first grade. Scored by Tallis Duncan in 2024. So there's Jack, he's looking sharp too. A high leg raise. Uh, saw some of the stuff from last week. He said he was nervous. And, you know, he spent 12 seasons in Canberra with the Raiders. So this is all new for him. I and mean, it's a big thing to change clubs. I know I did it. I went from the Rabbitohs to the Bulldogs and you're very tentative when you walk into that new dressing room with your new teammates, but I think he's he's pretty right. He's, he's, I've seen him hugging a few of the boys and obviously he's got mates here like Trell, Shaq, Cameron Murray, Campbell Graham. So they all played together for the Kangaroos. So he is lucky that he's got some really solid support and some mates here. And unfortunately, I think he's suspended for round one in Vegas, which isn't that going to be a huge game. There's a game on right now on the NFL at that stadium in Vegas. I think the, the Vegas Raiders are taking on the Chiefs from memory. Big game. So that's going to be huge. And I heard the Nikita Zhu and Tim Zhu say they want to try and fight <laughs> when we go over there. So, uh, wouldn't that be good? Big trip. Watch the Rabbits take on the Manly in Vegas. And a couple of Aussies fighting there, maybe at MGM or something. So, all right, so the boys are out there. They're getting plenty of footage here today. There's Cookie, the beach sprinter. I think he's leading the way in the in the road run, he's always been fit, Cookie. He's, he's been around a while now, but he is a quality hooker. I think I'll have Pete Mamazellis as his understudy this year. Interesting to see how they get used. If we run with us, hooker on the bench and Pete gets more minutes, gives Cookie a bit of a rest. Yeah, you know, it might be the other way around. Pete might be starting and Cookie comes off the bench. Yeah, there you go. It's just speculation, by the way, so, um, yeah, so, there's a, a bit of a rehab group over there, and is that Joy Arrow over there? I think it is. So there he is. Queensland Origin star. Looks like Wolverine a bit with the, the hair and the beard, doesn't he? Let's have a look at his face, look. If you're watching this, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. There you go. <laughs> and he's a good man, Joy. He, Goes out of his way to help the fans. He's always there to sign stuff, and yeah, he's a he's a fan favourite, Joy Arrow, and he just signed 
a renewed contract. So he's going to be around for a few years yet, which is great news for the club. He's so valuable. He's so tough. He's not the biggest forward, but he gets out there and he rips in. And that's what you want from your forwards. You want to get out there and make their presence felt. Take a few, a heap of heavy charges, put shots on. Always be on your feet, getting involved in the play. And that's what Joy Arrow does. He's got a high work rate and big 2024 coming up for him too, as there is for a lot of these guys over here. There's so stretches over there of the, I think it's the rehab group as well. He's had uh, chest problems. Um, you know, and Tyrone is over there as well. So a few niggles over there in this group. <laughs> a few boys with a couple of issues, but you know, they'll be getting right. You know, so it's only early. It's only November. So yeah, there's plenty of time for, for these lads to get sorted. Sprint there from Jack and Trell. Get that. So we're trying to focus on a few. I haven't seen Cody out there today. I might, have, I might have missed him, but I'm not sure. So we're going to do some sprints here. Pushing it through the boys, testing out the legs, testing out the calves, the hammies, all the joints. They've all warmed up quite nicely. I'll watch another sprint here. Yards here on Bunny's TV. Yeah. 